today I'm going to be sharing a completely unnecessary <laughs> purchase that was made mostly out of nostalgia <laughs> and browsing on Amazon Japan as one does. I bought this nice set of Kupi pencils by Sakura. These are, I would say, student line pencils i see you can see if you research it there's a lot of photos of kids using those and i decided to get them just because i had some similar pencils when i was a kid in brazil they were made by Bic. um they were really similar to these ones and when i saw them i just <laughs> got a bit of nostalgia and i thought I would like to try them and they were not extremely expensive they look nice and I thought it was an interesting uh, thing to show here even though it's not a high-end art supply or anything of that sort but sometimes you just like to have fun with our supplies so before I start with this quick demo I would like to ask if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet to please do so that will help me to bring my content to more people to grow the channel to have more ways of communicating with you here on youtube as we arrive to a certain level of followers there's other uh, tools that get available so that would be nice as well um if you are following me consider liking the videos uh, leaving comments uh, sharing with other people that may be interested or interested in the content all of that can help me and help you also to get more out of the channel and that's it um i'm gonna leave a link below as usual for um this set of pencils there's other uh, sets as well with less or more pencils i think there's the biggest set has 60 of them I don't want to get uh, that crazy. I really like this one. And um, yeah, so this is how it comes. It comes in this um, cardboard sleeve. It's a metal tin. And I really, really like the um, design of the tin. I find it's very beautiful to look at even. And when I saw it, I, I decided that's the, the one I wanted. It comes with 30 pencils something else that came inside i'm gonna show you it's this beautiful um guide of how to color using these uh, pencils i'm gonna open it now so you have here some artwork that's interesting it comes already with pre-printed artwork to color just a nice touch some flowers and you have here the printed version how it could look like then what else you have here some info unfortunately it's all in Japanese so I cannot say right now what's about even though there's you can see some pictures over here about techniques using maybe a chamois cloth or some scratching techniques here there's uh, something with a uh, van gogh watercolor maybe white i'm not sure i want to to check it better what i do with japanese stuff i have the um, google translate app on my phone so i just uh, you can use the app uh, for um, anything using your camera you choose the camera you point at the text and it will translate for you it's it's just genius i've um, i've gone through a lot of japanese stuff like that but in any case i'm gonna be taking a look um on my own afterwards and if i find anything of interest i'll be putting here when i edit the video so this is some nice 
uh, things. Here is the teen and voila. <laughs> That's how it looks like when it's open. Just trying to make a bit more space here on the desk. Yeah, so it comes with this uh, protective sheet of paper. You have the 30 colors over here. It comes with a sharpener and something that is uh, nice about these uh, pencils or crayons. For me, they are a bit of um, in between bit, uh, crayon and pencil. I will show you why. And they can be sharpened to a very sharp point, unlike crayons. So that's good to, to use for detail work. It comes with a little eraser as well. And I'll show you here how they are. So you see, they are like a crayon, but they don't, don't have, they're very light and then they are empty, they are hollow on the inside, you can see here. So they're very light and they don't seem to to have the, those kind of bits that come out of it when you use it like regular crayons. So I find that uh, it's a really unique um, type of pencil. Um, I assume from what I've, uh, my little research I did online about those, that they are very, very popular in Japan for kids. I think that kids have been using this uh, at school for decades. Um, I see comments on Amazon of people that said they grew up with these type of pencils. Like I said, in Brazil, we had Bic that released a similar um, type of uh, crayon. Um, I don't remember them being that light, but I remember that they were also hollow on the inside and they could be sharpened. So that's a nice touch and the colors are really nice as well as you can see there is a good variation it's not the usual rainbow uh, candy colored um, selection of children's crayons so that's a plus as well now for the fun part i decided to swatch them on white paper but i also have a black paper on the side to see if they can show on black paper. I'm gonna try a few of those. If I see that they are not very opaque, I'll just uh, keep it on the white paper. So let's start swatching and see how they feel on paper.
finished doing, doing the swatches here, I wanted to show you there's just a tiny little bit of dust that comes out of these um, pencils, but it's really minimal compared to um, other crayons. Um, they have nice colors. It's not the most vibrant, rich uh, crayon there is. Of course, you have also new colors that are more rich than that. I'm gonna take some to do a quick uh, comparison here. So as you can see, here you have the new colors compared to these crayons. Obviously, this is an artist um, art supply, so the payload is different. But what I think that the Sakura Kupi will be good for is detail, because with the um, new color, you have this thick, chunky uh, tip that even though I've seen some people uh, sharpening, I'm not sure if they can keep for a long time a sharp point whereas the sakura you can keep pretty much a sharp point if you because they're not as creamy so you see the difference so i think that they can be used together even to make some um kind of naive type of um artwork where you can use crayons and uh, pencils and even mix with watercolor that will be interesting as well i used also the black paper like i said to try they're not very very opaque just enough but i think you can still use it for some effects i'm gonna take um, one of the stabilo woody the chunky color pencils just to show here a comparison these are very opaque on black paper. And this can also be smudged and can be used with water as well. I may do a, in the future a video about um, watercolor or art supplies that can go well with dark paper. But for now, I'm just sticking to the Sakura Kupi here and I'm gonna be showing you close all the colors these ones you don't consider because they are new color it's a nice selection the only thing I think I realized that it's missing a bit on this set it's a uh, white There is no white on the set, which make makes sense maybe because it's for kids and uh, if they're painting on a white colored paper, there is no need. So in this uh, sense, I think it has a good selection of colors. Of course, if you want to use it on black paper and you need white, you can also use a white colored pencil or a new color or something of that sort. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I think it was uh, about 20 euro, um, the price of this set with 30 pencils and then um, plus shipping, of course, but I think that it's, it's, a good, um, it's a good supply to get to use for some more like loose, like I said, uh, naive kind of type of uh, artwork when you want to have that, um, feel of childhood and not to be too precise it's nice you can use the the new colors and you can use these ones for details to get so i hope you enjoyed this video i will probably be sharing this video around october now i'm filming in september i'm pre-filming i confess because um i'm sure that i'll be completely uh, swamped 
uh, come October with all the challenges going around. So um, if you are curious about what I'm up to, please uh, go check my Instagram. I'm at, at Colored Carol. Um, I'm going to leave here uh, this info. You can go there and check what I've been up to with the challenges for the month. And that's it. I uh, hope that you like this uh, little um, swatching video. Like, uh, if you did, please uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so, hit the notifications button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!